I feel so nostalgic in a little bubble bath. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. Welcome to the video where we are finally sitting down and testing out a full face of new ColourPop makeup. And we are doing this video because I realized probably two, three-ish weeks ago that ColourPop, you know, they come out with new stuff every 17 seconds, it seems. And I haven't played around with anything from them other than their new Pretty Fresh foundation, which we'll use again in today's video. Uh, but I haven't played around with anything from them other than that in such a long time. And so they had a ton of new collections and sets and just things that had launched that uh, I really wanted to sit down and take a look at. Obviously we have a ton of stuff to get to so I don't want to take too long but I do like to pause at the start of every video, introduce myself for anybody that might be new here. My name is Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria. Again, welcome to the channel. If you are new, um, I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They usually go up right around 7, 7.30 a.m. ish. A uh, big ish on that lately. I've been running a little bit late. And then in addition to that, my biggest plug, my biggest piece of promo, the biggest thing I like to push onto the world. That was a lot of peas. Um, but I want you guys, if you have not done so yet, to please go down into the description box and follow me over on Instagram because I am trying to get to 10,000 followers over there. That way I can get the swipe up feature. So maybe if you want to hang out with me a little bit more in my day-to-day -day life, whether it is, you know, a regular unboxing, a PR unboxing, talking about clothing, what I'm wearing, um, or just, you know, going for a walk, really just anything, <laughs> just uh, any of my usual like daily shenanigans. Um, I love to hang out with you guys again in the Insta stories for that. In the actual feed of Instagram, I do offer even a little bit more than that. I get into um, like makeup application for IGTV videos. I do little mini makeup reviews. I do makeup photos plus size fashion, plus size IGTV videos. And uh, just really, it's a good place to hang out with me overall. You get to see a lot more of my life over there. So like I said, I would greatly appreciate it if you would follow me over there. Everything will be linked down below. And from there, let's go ahead, let's zoom the camera in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing that I wanna mention is actually just like a brief overview of the products because I'm gonna be linking, of course, everything down below just like I always do. Um, I link products, I link everything I'm wearing, earrings, jewelry, just anything that I think you might care about, might wanna shop, I link it down below. For today's video, I did get like 90 maybe 95% of it from the ColourPop website uh, because they were having a huge sale that weekend. And then just to fill in with the stuff that they didn't have, maybe it was out of stock, I had to get a couple of things from Ulta. But what I will do down below for those links is if it's available at both places, I will link it in both places. And then, you know, of course, if it's only available on ColourPop, then I can only link it there. But uh, that way you guys can, if you want to shop Ulta, maybe you have an order, maybe you want free shipping, you want to earn points, use points, whatever. Uh, but that way you guys kind of have that versatility. You know, you guys can kind of pick and choose where you want to buy from. But anyways, getting into the first product for today, I actually have the ColourPop Full Beat Blending Sponge Kit. And in this kit, they actually have all five of the sponges that they sell, which you guys know at this point, I love sponges. I love testing them. And so for me, this was definitely something I wanted to pick up. I wanted to test it out because in this kit, they actually have a couple of different categories. Um, they have the three, what I would call regular sponges. They each have a different profile to them, the complexion, the hourglass, and the detail, which those ones are just like a standard sponge that I would use on any other day. They've got a good squish to them. Then in addition to those, they have these two on the ends here that I was very, very interested in. This one right here is the silicone blending sponge, which again, you guys will get to see these once I go and actually get them all wet, but I just wanted to show them to you, talk about them a little bit first. Uh, but the silicone one I'm very interested in because it actually says that it has a silicone core, which just to kind of show you guys, you can see like there's a little bit of a darker circle right there in the center. Um, and they say that that is there to help minimize product absorption and is perfect for use with a full coverage foundation. And don't get me wrong, today I'm not going to be going in with like a super full coverage foundation, but I thought it would be interesting to maybe compare um, that one again with the silicone core to their velvet sponge, which is this one right here. And this is very reminiscent of like the, the Juno & Co one that has just that fuzzy texture on the outside of it. On the back here, it says that this has a flocked velvet texture that gives you a flawless airbrushed look. And uh, in my experience, these are actually really good as well if you want to add coverage. And then just really quick too, I wanted you guys to get a nice um, comparison here for the shape and the size because these are just still dry. I haven't obviously taken them. I'm going to go wet them here in a second. Um, so just so you guys know, this is kind of how they start. And then I'm going to go ahead really quickly, go wet them and I will be right back. All right, you guys. So I am back. Obviously all of these sponges are wet. And as you can tell, they all got, you know, a substantial amount larger, which is great. The texture seems to be really good. I really like the slant on this one. Anyways, let's get going into some actual products and, you know, start actually, you know, doing some makeup here. And to go in with that, I have a couple of things to 
start. So this one was already in my collection. Um, this is the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Primer, and this is a beautiful primer. It gives you that really nice, again, hydrated feeling on the skin uh, with a little topical luminescence, which just, you know, kind of brings out the hydration throughout the day. And I thought it would be fun to maybe mix in, maybe do like a freckle of this just so we have like that base primer. And then also go in with a little bit of a spray because I do have two different options that I just picked up. I've never tested these. Um, obviously, they're still sitting in the box. Uh, but this is the 4th Ray Beauty Glisten Up Mist, which 4th Ray is like the skincare brand for ColourPop. It says here that this is going to give you an instant glowing complexion. It has vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, and it does say there is a micro fine shimmer that delivers a subtle glow. I think what I'm going to do is actually save the Refresh AF one. I'll save that one as like my final mister. And right now I'll go in with a mixture of this spray and then this primer right here, that pretty fresh primer. When I am focusing the bulk of the product out here and then lightly pulling the leftover toward the T-zone because that is where I get the bulk of my oil. Uh, but I still want the outsides here to get like that nice little light little tea shine. And then like I said, oh God, that's really pretty. Can you see how the nice little like micro shimmers in there look? Damn, okay, ColourPop. Let's give this a little spray. Ooh, you hear that spray? Shit. So you can definitely get like a hint of the citrus in there. Just like a little bit. It's not overwhelming at all and it dissipates very quickly. Mmm. That is a really nice mist. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is so freaking dark in here. What is going on? All right, so hopefully this is better. I think we'll have to, you know, readjust as we go, of course. But this spray setting on my skin, can you see how freaking glowy that looks? Like, if you're into the glowy life, holy wow. I feel like, like, everywhere up through here, it just looks so luminous. All right, now moving into foundation, we are going to do this a little different, just kind of, you know, make it a little bit spicier. Because for foundation, I have already tested this. I did a full review and wear test of their Pretty Fresh Hydro foundation and of course I will link it up in the cards if you haven't seen it yet but what I want to do with this foundation because I am pretty familiar with it I've worn it several times um, is I want to split it up and do half the face with the silicone sponge and then half the face with the um, velvet sponge that way we can see if it changes the application the finish anything like that and so I think I'm gonna start off here with the silicone sponge you can see it has that silicone core right through there and this is in the shade fair 20 n I'm just gonna take this and start going in on this side yes the shade is a little bit bit light on my skin um like in, if you especially if you're comparing it with this side but it does match my neck pretty well so when we go in with the other products it'll just blend out this is the first half completely applied again with just the silicone sponge and it's interesting because if you look at the sponge i don't know if you guys can see it on camera but looking at it um you can see right in the dead center at least i can that uh the silicone portion of this sponge is actually not um like absorbing product which is exactly what it said then all of the area around that like the the regular sponge part that's definitely still soaking it up but I don't think it's that bad like you're definitely cutting down on the absorption and uh, the sponge itself still works really well I still have the same you know medium ish coverage from this foundation now I'm just doing it the same thing with the velvet sponge here and uh, getting that one worked in same way same amount of product oh wow you guys with this one I actually think there's a huge difference in the amount of coverage I feel like I'm getting way more with this one which I'm not really surprised by because like I said at the beginning or at least I think I mentioned this um this is very reminiscent of the Juno and Co sponge which is known for you know delivering better coverage a really nice flawless base because that velvet texture really does help to keep the product like at the surface level of the sponge and you can even see it too like on the surface of my skin all of the coverage this side has versus this side. So I'm just going to take the leftover product that's on this sponge and kind of press it over here as well just to help even everything out. So now it's time for concealer and I actually picked up a fresh little tube of their no filter concealer and this is in the shade Fair 04. I'm just going to go in with this one um, same place as I normally would under the eyes through the t-zone a little bit on the jawline just to kind of blend it all together. This one I'm going to be using the complexion sponge that I talked about um, just a little while ago because I really like this slant and I want to feel how this sponge performs with uh, again more of that angle to it oh hell yes you guys see me getting right up in that under eye <gasps> bitch that blend is so good it looks so nice oh my god and that concealer with this foundation actually looks really smooth too damn okay 
I see you, ColourPop. I see you. I hear you. I am listening. All right, so next up, we have the new cream bronzer, and this is literally the entire reason I wanted to do this video, because this product, you guys, oh, I am obsessed with cream products, especially cream bronzers, and this just looked so beautiful online. And I grabbed this in the shade Medium, which here is a swatch of it. I think it does look on camera for some reason. It pulls like a little bit more kind of like warmy yellow undertone, but I think it, uh, I think it'll blend out just fine. And for this one, because it has this nice little hold. I'm going to use the hourglass sponge and I'm just going to dive right in here. And I'm just going to start right up here like I, oh yeah, I like that color like I normally would and start applying. Oh wow, that actually has like an airbrushed texture to it. Like it's it's not super rich in opacity. So when you go to blend it, it's very nice um, and light. It's not too harsh. Look at my forehead. Do you see how natural that looks? It has the most like slight gradient. Oh my God, I can't believe how beautiful this is. Look at my little Dorito Cheeto cupcake double chin situation. Um, it, Cause it gives the most light like gradient. It's such a natural looking shadow. That's something I've talked about before. I just, I feel like on me, my double chin, like when I, when I go to bronzer that area, it's never very flattering and it just looks really harsh. And I feel like with this product, because it's so blendable and so almost like airbrush looking, that it doesn't it doesn't do that at all. Also, there's a little bit too much bronzer um, on my upper lip. Might wanna, you know, pat that out a little bit there, Paige, looking a little bit different. All right, so I think my first impression on this, because I know a lot of people are gonna have a ton of questions. So just to hit them, first impression, I really like this. I think that because of the texture and all the things that I mentioned, I can see why um, this would work really well for not just your face, but also like an all over kind of body, you know, glowy, bronzy moment moment because it does have that beautiful like satin leaning dewy finish to it. Now in addition to that I did have a couple of people ask me I think when I was talking about this on Instagram they asked me to compare this to the Chanel Soleil cream bronzer because obviously that one is a cult classic and then I know that they changed the formula. I, I don't know anything about that because I still have the old formula but uh, in terms of what I'm familiar with with the Chanel one I would say that this is actually um it's a lot less rich in opacity because you know obviously when you apply it it doesn't have nearly as much base color to it. And I think that that part is personal preference because again, some people like to have more straight pigment. Some people like to build it and work with it a little more. That's just completely on you. But just to compare the two, I do think this one has a little bit less. And then as far as the texture, I actually think the one from Chanel is a little bit more um, like satin leaning matte. Like it, it's more that direction. Whereas this one is more satin leaning hydrated or dewy. So just in terms of like the finish on the skin, I think they're both beautiful and I love the original Chanel formula, but this one is definitely a little bit more hydrated looking on the skin. And I think, you know, you can you can definitely see that just in the way that it sculpts. It blends in really well. All right, now moving on from there, I did pick up a new cream blush. This is their blush stick in the shade Aloha. And for me, I love, I absolutely unequivocally love the ColourPop blush stick formula. I've talked about this at length before, but I just think that these blush sticks, they perform so well. The colors are always so on point. I just think the ColourPop formula is so good. Oh God, that is beautiful. It's more of like a, kind of like a tan coral orange type shade. God, that, yeah, that's really beautiful. I want to apply this. I'm going to use the last sponge in the kit, which is the detail sponge. And I am going to use this the way that I use all cream products. I like to apply them to the sponge first and then kind of build from there. So I'll just kind of take that, pop it on, kind of split that between both sides till we learn how pigmented it is. Oh, that color in this bronzer. Can you see that? <gasps> like how good those look together. I don't even have a mirror. Oh my God. All right. So I'm absolutely crazy about this. I think that they both have um, like this and the bronzer because they both have that kind of warm undertone to them. Oh my God. That is so gorgeous. <gasps> These colors are so good. You guys, I apps. Oh my God. I love color pop blushes. Now next up, I am going to go in with just a little bit of this highlight. This is the star bright highlight. It's their cream formula. This is one I have talked about at length because it's so freaking beautiful. Oh my God, you guys, I love this formula, but I want to make sure that I don't go too overboard with this one because I do have a new um, powder highlight and powder blush to try out as well. So I just want to give myself like a nice little base highlight. Oh my God, it's so good. Um, I just want to make sure that I get this, you know, kind of worked all over into the normal spaces. And then to go through from there and start setting stuff down, I do have the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. This is their loose one. And this is in the shade Translucent. And this one I have tried before, but it's been a long time. So I don't really remember what I thought of it. So we're going to give this another go today. And then also also to apply that, I picked up from their website the No Filter Powder Puff, and this is just, yeah, they're their version of a powder puff, so I figured we would give this a try as well. Also, my eyes are still watering like crazy due to allergies, so, you know, if you happen to notice anything, like my entire outer area looks red, puffy, and swollen, well, allergies, okay, allergies. Now, to go through and get things started, obviously, my under eyes are super creasy, so I just want to make sure 
Those are nice and padded out. I'm gonna go in with the powder puff and I'm going to start laying down some of this powder. I really have to make sure that I concentrate that up into my, my under eye bags so that way they get nice and set down. All right, you guys, so I have used this puff now for basically the entire face. I used it for under the eyes, through the T-zone, and now I'm on to um, the rest of the face, the outer perimeters. And I think for me, this puff is definitely a little bit too stiff because when I'm using um, a powder puff, something like this, there are two things that I look for. I like it to be nice and squishy. I like it to have a good amount of like wiggle to it. And I feel like this one just overall as a puff, it is very stiff. You can see right here, like it just doesn't, um, like it doesn't really flop around a lot. It's just it's more rigid for me when I'm looking for a puff Especially for like applying my powder and really making sure everything is pressed in I do prefer it to have um, a little bit more of like a cloth like texture just, just something that has a little bit of um, a little bit of fluffiness on the surface Because I feel like that fluffiness is what really helps it like press extra into my skin and it makes it look more airbrushed All right So now at this point I did zoom the camera back out that way you guys could see kind of like the the full picture how things are looking and from here here we're gonna go into a bronzer. Now I didn't have a new bronzer from ColourPop, like a new powder one. And so I'm gonna be going in with one of the ones that I have here. This is just a Z palette that I have from Tarte from a long time ago. And then these are the two bronzer shades that I have from ColourPop. This one is California Dreamin' or CA Dreamin'. And then this one is in the shade Private Party. And I think for today, I I'm probably gonna mix them a little bit because this one is a little more neutral. This one is a little bit too warm, but uh, combining the two of them, I think would look really pretty especially with the base that we already have. All right, now from there, moving into blush, I only picked up one item from this collection, but this is from the collab that ColourPop did with Candyland, and it is their Super Shock Cheeky Blush in the shade Gummy More, and I am absolutely obsessed. Like, the packaging on this, I just thought was super duper cute. Because I was picking up so much stuff from, like, all the different collections, I didn't want to grab too much, but, like, look at this, oh my god, look at this packaging, you guys. How friggin' cute is that? Oh my god. Look at that on the inside. It actually has, um, hello, focus on me, thank you. Um, it actually has multiple colors. It has like a mauve pink, this little bright pink, and then on the side, it actually has like a little bit of a shimmer even. Oh, this is gonna be good. Okay, I'm just gonna go in here and like mix these all together, and I'm using my Refer 04, uh, Refer, Refer, however you wanna say it. I really, it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. I think I say it wrong every single time. But for me, no matter what you wanna call it, this brush is just absolutely fantastic. I use this thing for everything, like highlight, all over face powder. I use it for blush. It's just, it's so multifaceted. And of course, just to be fully transparent, Parent. These brushes were sent to me. I have, uh, I don't even know how many they've sent me now, but uh, they're absolutely fantastic. I wouldn't tell you they were if they weren't, um, regardless of if they were sent to me, but like, oh my God, I love this so much. These brushes feel so nice. Like what is happening? Oh my God, you guys, this is scented. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with me. I've been sitting over here, like applying this, like, oh my God, I must have washed this in something that smells really good. Never did it dawn on me that the yummy fruity smell might be coming from the fruity ass blush. Okay, I don't, I don't know what is going on with me. But oh my God, that actually smells really nice. It's a, it reminds me, okay, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> follow me. I used like Suave or VO5 as a kid and they were like the fruity, like strawberry-ish scents. That is the vibe that I'm getting right now. Oh my God, <laughs> you guys, that just took me back so far. Bitch, it took me back to the Stone Age. Oh my God. Oh, I feel so nostalgic in a little bubble bath. So just, you know, to kind of talk about the uh, the actual product I'm applying, because I think at this point I've talked about <laughs> literally everything else, but uh, this blush is actually beautiful. Like, I love the tone. Um, the color is really nice. You do have to build it to get, like, any substantial payoff, but what I like about this, I think, more than anything is the texture of it. It's very smooth, um, very true to this formula for ColourPop. All of their super cheek blushes are like this, and I love them, because they have, like, a really nice, almost cream to powder finish that just melts into the skin and as somebody with texture like that's kind of a dream come true because you get the best of both worlds and just also to give you guys a little swatch of it I don't know if it'll show up but uh, this blush has a fair amount of like shimmer shine glitter type situation built into it I have to be honest in saying you know normally I, I wouldn't really be into a blush that has like glitter in it because that's definitely not my thing but there is something about this where it just it complements the color and the way that it settles into the skin really well so I I'm not mad at it again it's not my usual by any stretch, but it does look really, really beautiful, and I'm, I'm not mad at it at all. I will 100% use this bitch again, because it looks great, and oh my god, it takes me back, you guys, that smell. Mm, oh, it smells so good. It, smell, it smells like my childhood. Like, I just, I can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. So normally, at this point, I'm not gonna lie, I would move on to brows, I would go to eyes, and I would do the highlight last, but you guys, I cannot look at this anymore without using it. Um, this is their new Soul Body Shimmering Body Powder in the shade Platinum, and this is just like, <laughs> it's calling my actual name, and I 
I need to use it. I need to use it real bad. So we're going to be going in with this next. But before I go in with that, I do want to go ahead and give my face a spray. And I'm not going to go in yet with the other new spray that I have from them because I actually need, I think, something a little bit more matte that'll really lock this face in. So instead, I'm going to go in with just a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Y'all get ready. It's going to be satisfying, okay? It's going to be satisfying in three, two, one. Oh, so good. I, there, oh, 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 there's nothing better than peeling off a mirror sticker. Oh, so good. Also, holy hell, do you see the size of this fucking mirror? Oh my God. This packaging color pop? Okay, I'm not upset, not upset about it. Holy but Jesus, I was gonna do a swatch for you, uh, but I think I just died. Oh my God, like, look at that. That's actually beautiful. Okay, I was I was a little bit skeptical because in the pan it looks beautiful, um, and I wasn't sure if it was just like an overspray, but oh, okay, all right, Mr. Platinum. Oh, you know what? I think I'll go in with this because it'll give me more of like a, a drapey kind of effect. Um, this is just a fluffy, it's a Morphe Y5, but it has like a fluffier base to it. And I'm just going to go in here and really get my brush nice and saturated. And I'm going to just, you know, kind of go in, see how this works out for me. <gasps> oh, oh boy. <laughs> okay. 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 Wow. Okay. She is, she's, mm, she's got some fucking going on here. Okay. She is gorgeous. Can you guys see that? Let me see. Oh yeah, you can. Oh, you can see it, honey. Don't act like you can't. Okay. So for this having more of like a, like a glitter texture built into it. I'm actually really impressed because it sets beautifully on the skin and uh, the, the particles of glitter, they actually don't like create any issues with texture. It looks really, really nice. Um, so as far as the product goes, I am not upset and I really like this mirror. This mirror is freaking gold. All right. So now we are officially going to get into brows. And for that, I did pick up a fresh one of the um, ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. And I have this in the shade Light Brown. And to go with this, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Pencil. This is their uh, yeah, ColourPop Brow Pencil in the shade Bangin' Brunette. And I've actually used the um, the brow pencil from them a lot. Like, I used to talk about it all the time. Uh, probably two, three years ago, it was my favorite pencil. Now, don't get me wrong, it does have a little bit more of, like, a stiff formula, especially if you've tried, like, ones from ABH or Benefit. Like, if you've gotten around with your brow pencils, you'll definitely feel like it is a little bit stiffer. I am trying to uh, sit here and do my brows and remember why the hell did I grab this, <laughs> this shade in light brown? Because I'm definitely definitely more of like a medium brown kind of bitch and I don't know why <laughs> I would have uh, grabbed this so light like I definitely want my brows maybe they were you know what maybe they were out of the medium one maybe that's what it was with that kind of drying down I am going to go in and start to just piece in with the uh with the brow pencil here okay you guys so I just got so excited um when I thought I was done because I had done one brow and then I remembered I still have this brow <gasps> oh Paige you have two brows you dumbass you gotta do both sides so with the brows done now we're gonna move on to eyeshadow and you know of course course, with ColourPop, I had a thousand palettes I could choose from, but for this one, the packaging and the color story <sighs> literally took my heart and soul away from my body. Like, is that not... <laughs> Oh, is that packaging not the cutest thing? Um, this is their Garden Variety palette. I just want you to really see it. Like all these little raised flowers, the colors, just uh, all of it is so good, you guys. I am obsessed. And uh, even as far as the color story goes too, like it's so beautiful. It has these nice neutrals, a couple jewel tones. And just overall, like this is, oh, this is so right up my alley. I think what I want to do is stay like kind of oddly enough, like right in this region. I think I might even want to uh, incorporate this little green moment, like maybe all over the lid, maybe like a little purple through. Oh, what if I did that? Like some purple through the crease with that green on the center? Oh, bitch, bitch. All right. So first thing I think I want to do just to kind of, you know, make sure everything is set down is I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Deserted right here. It's like a light kind of beigey bone colored shade. I'm just going to take that and run it through the lid all over the crease. Like I said, just to make sure everything is nice and set down. But I actually really like that shade. Look at how bright that is. Now from here, I'm going to go in with this shade. It's Prickly Please. It's like a light, um, very light kind of peach shade and I'm taking that on the same brush just to give me a light little lay down of color. This is the Morphe Y19. Um, very light, just, you know, fluffy crease kind of brush here. I don't want anything too crazy. But I just want to start, like I said, having something to blend the other colors into. And then from there, I'm going to go in and build up that color a little bit more with the shade Over the Bloom. It's this one right here. It's just a darker pinky peach with a little bit of gold glitter in it. Um, but for me, I'm just more so interested in building up that color. I just want to get that lightly blended in there. I'm making sure to take it all the way through the crease. God, that color is really beautiful. I think this shade would work with a lot of other shades. 
Ooh, I like this. All right, now from there, I wanna start deepening up the inner and the outer corner with the same shade. And for that, I'm gonna use the shade Stuck On You, which is this really deep purple. And I'm gonna be blending that out with a slightly smaller brush here. This is a Morphe M54, no, I'm sorry, it's an M M454. There's so, so many <laughs> letters, numbers, whatever. Uh, but we're gonna go in there and just start going in and building that color lightly. Um, cause this is, I think what's going to really help pop that green. Cause I think I want to put the, the shimmery green in the dead center. So I'm just going to go in here. Ooh, yeah, that's, ooh, ooh. You guys see that combo? Shit, that's pretty. What the hell? I'm almost, how is my card full? What is happening? All right, you guys know the drill. If the framing on, on the shot right here looks a little different, I did just have to uh, play around with the camera. So if it's not exact, um, that is why. But in terms of this shade, just kind of hopping back into it here, I actually love this color combo. Like I love where it's going. You guys, so I've just been sitting here kind of playing around with my options for the center of the lid, because obviously I do want this green shade. This is the shade Best Buds. It's the, the only green in the palette. Uh, but I I think I want to actually layer that over top of this purple shade. This is smudge off. And so what I'm going to do is go in with some of my NYX glitter glue. This is what I use for every, you know, shimmer, glitter, whatever I'm going in with. And then with my finger, I'm going to go in with the shade smudge off, which is this purple shade. And I am going to very lightly veil that over the entire lid just to give us, you know, that whole lid coverage here. I like to have a good base down. God, that's Oh, that is a freaking stunning shade. Okay. And then right in the center, I'm going to take that green shade and pop that right on top and just make it blend out a little bit here. Ooh, that's a good decision. That's a good decision. Now here's the real question. Do I want to go in and deepen it up just a freckle, like maybe just a picky, like a on just the, just the tip, like the inner and the outer, just a little, maybe, maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe kind of. I'm gonna grab this shade, it's Sucka For You. It's like a dark kind of mauve purple shade. Not this one, this is a BH number eight. It's nice and small and fluffy. And I'm gonna grab that Sucka, Sucka For You. Sucka, Paige, Sucka. As in Sucka, <laughs> never mind, don't go there. Never, never mind. Uh, but we're just gonna take and lightly kind of tap this just on the inner and outer here. Again, you can just see just a slight amount of depth. God, that color, oh, that color is beautiful all by itself too. Shit, these colors, you guys, I love a good jewel tone. And like, oh my God, like, look at that. Just a teeny bit of depth. I don't know, I don't want a lot because I don't want to overtake like all the purple and green goodness. But like just that little bit of depth makes a big old difference. All right, so from here, it's time to go in with mascara. I'm just gonna curl up my lashes and then of course go in with the ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara. And this is in the shade Black on Black. So what I think I'm gonna do based on all of these options is go in with the Lippy Pencil. This is in the shade O oh Snap. And then I think I'm just gonna put a little bit of the ColourPop Luxe Lip Oil over top of that, again, in the shade Hot Shot. And I think that's gonna be the lip combo. All right, you guys, with that, the full face is done and complete, obviously, with the lip on. This is how it all came together. And let's go ahead and throw up the up close. That way you guys can kind of see, what was this? I don't know. Uh, but that way you guys can see the complexion and everything up close. And I think for me, just, you know, just kind of summarize, finalize my thoughts here. I think as a whole, ColourPop makeup, like they just continue to be one of those brands. They always, they always shock me with, you know, the price point, the good, the quality product that you get from them. Of course, not every product will always work for every person. You know, that goes without saying because it's like that with any company. But I feel like with ColourPop, it is a more often than not situation that I do love it. And with today's video, you know, just kind of keeping everything in perspective, I think there were only like two items that I wasn't really like in love in love with. And obviously the first one was that puff, which I told you guys about. It's it's just not my favorite, um, like in terms of the texture on it, like that surface texture, it's really stiff. And for me, again, it's not that it's bad. It's just not like what I prefer in a puff but because things are so hit or miss when it comes to complexion. I'm not surprised about that. You know, so there's probably a lot of people out there that love it because it's stiff and because it has that almost um almost like memory foam kind of squish stiffness to it and so again not my cup of tea necessarily but i'm not surprised that other people would like it and then the other item that you know was kind of a half in half out for me for today was actually the ColourPop no filter setting powder i think for me with this powder i would probably use this as um either like an all over face powder like just you know a light dusting maybe a day where i don't need to use a foundation powder i don't need like more coverage i, I don't need to build it up on my skin i think this would be beautiful because it really does 
does like sit into this area nicely and on this you know part of my face like the the planes of my face I don't have to worry about like the wrinkles the cracks the crevasses and I definitely think that is where something like this would shine whereas like a thicker uh, maybe like a Maybelline fit me something like that that has a little bit more grip to it that's better suited for like my under eyes and through my t-zone but other than that I'm really excited to keep testing out a lot of these whether it is that eyeshadow palette which I really love the color story um, that cream bronzer I think is great that new shade of the cream blush I really like what do you guys think what are your thoughts and opinions on ColourPop overall what do you think of their products do you have a favorite um, is there something that I should try that you think is amazing that maybe I haven't tried yet or maybe there's just another video in general that you guys would love to see something else that you want me to test of course just let me know all of that down below in the comments and of course like I said at the start of the video you can subscribe turn on your post notifications or follow me on Instagram de de definitely follow me on Instagram who are we kidding um, and all of that will be listed and linked down below and from there beautiful people that is all thank you all so so much for watching please don't forget to have an amazing day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one bye all right okay okay all right okay oh yeah so I know you guys can't hear this tractor but I can and oh my god <laughs> it's driving me crazy <laughs> it's that feeling when you can tell you're talking really really fast because you had an extra cup of coffee and I feel like as I try to slow down I feel like I'm actually talking in slow motion <sighs> Paige you just gotta slow down just my baby dog you just my baby dog what was that face I don't know I have no idea I don't know I don't no, I don't know. Okay, and then to go along with that, you know, like you can just see it doesn't really have a lot of, you know, wiggliness, wiggliness?